What's up? It's that metal guy 1983 and I'm coming to you guys with another craft beer review from Nakasi. This one is out of their variety pack and it's called Dawn of the Red Red IPA. Ow! Yeah. I've never had a red IPA so I'm excited to try this. The Rebel IRA was born from the same endemic ingredients that brought you us the garage and grunt that brought you garage rock and grunge it's a sweet tropical tang and hoppy finish is out to change everything yeah dawn of the red yeah. all right enough of that silliness kids oh snap a doodle and just for you guys, for your grip is on point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, for your favorite part, Swag the poor. Ooh, look at that amber color. Little to no head. Wow, that has a great aroma to it. I'm definitely getting some tropical notes there. Whew, am I going to be an R IRA fan? Fan of the... Look at that. It's even got the metal sign. Yeah, that's that metal guy approved, baby. <laughs> Out of Eugene, Oregon, Nakasi. Brewing Company. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, and we got a 7% alcohol and 66 IBU. So low on the IBU, high on the flavor. That's what we do here in the Cassie. That's right. Cheers. Mm. All right, let me go in for another. Shocker. So something's biting kind of the hops in the back of the tongue. And there's this pepperiness that's really nice. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me and that I'm just wild and crazy. Right? Um, but definitely super duper enjoyable. Really liking it. Um, you do get those tropical notes, but you're getting some earthy notes in there too. Like the grunge, baby. And if you didn't know, if you've been living under a rock during the 90s, Pacific Northwest was a hotbed for everything amazing in music. <sighs> Kurt Cobain, may rest in peace. If you don't believe he was murdered or anything like that, then you guys are very freaking foolish because there's so much pointing towards it. Read his book, Heavier in Heaven, and watch the documentary, Soaked in Bleach. I implore you. Anyways, let's go. Take another. I just want to show you guys that color. Definitely not a traditional IPA color, right? It's that red IPA I, or IRA. It has a fair amount of carbonation in it. I'm not sure if this is translating on camera, but let me see if I can wipe this clean. There's definitely bubbles coming up. And it's really enjoyable. I definitely really like it. I would definitely recommend this to you guys. If you want to try something new, this is a good way to go. Been really enjoying doing these reviews of Nikasi. Um, and I hope that they've enjoyed me doing their reviews too. I've been shooting the messages of each review on to their Instagram and hopefully somebody there's watching and enjoying it um, 
And if you are, let me know. Comment below or hit me up on Instagram and let me know. Hmm. So comment down below if there's something I can do to totally flush out my palate before I drink a beer to where I have a, just a full on crisp, not tainted palate at all. I'd like to know what to do that so I can give you guys even more authentic reviews of the beer. Again, let me show you the label. Dawn of the Red. Beautiful. Love that metal sign on there. Love the zombies. Uh, love zombie movies. Whew. To pick a favorite's really hard. Uh, as far as, because I'm needing a laugh recently, I think next one I'm going to watch is Shaun of the Dead. Um, which is with, uh, oh God, I remember Nick Frost. The other guy's evading me right now, and he's like the main star. I don't know why. But anyways, great. So far, very impressed with this brewery. Very impressed by the beers. I'm going to be reviewing several more after this, so... By that fourth review, you guys already know what's going to happen. I'm going to get loopy. You're going to get wild and crazy. And you guys are going to be even more entertained than you are right now. I know. Hard to believe, right? Hard to believe. So let's cover some bases. We're six minutes and 37 seconds in. Are you subscribed? If you're not, please subscribe to this channel. Become of the Oh Yeah Army. Where we have fun. We tell it as it is. We are not sheep, and we have an underlining message of peace, love, and understanding that we want to spread to everyone because there's enough hate and negativity in the world. So we are going to spread happiness, humor, in every aspect that we can, and it's not going to be fake. Nothing that you see here is fake. I'm as real as it gets, mofo, and if... You're with me, come along for the ride, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, flood the comment section, let's interact. I answer every single comment that goes in. If there was a hundred of them, I'd reply to all of them. Share this, share this to anyone you know who loves craft beer. Also, I do beard product reviews as well. Share this with people who love beer and beards. Share this with people who are into metal. That is something I'm gonna do. Please recommend some metal bands down below or metal albums or recent music. Speaking of recent music, I listened to some of the new Nine Inch Nails album. <laughs> it was a shit show. That's my opinion. I didn't like it. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Sounded like a freaking movie soundtrack. If I wanted to do listen to a freaking score, I'd go listen to a freaking score of a movie. But guess what? That's not what I'm looking for. I wanted something from Trent where it was just so graphic and meant to be for right now. I was counting on him for that. Not. Didn't happen. Sorry. You know who did come through though? It took him 12 years, but he came through was Maynard from Tool. Fear Inoculum, fantastic album. I think I should do a review of that. I need to pick up the CD. I've listened to it digitally. But that is a fantastic album. Was supposed to go see him. My buddy Mac bought us tickets. But guess what? All concerts are canceled. So I don't get to go. Only oh, been waiting 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So check out Nikasi. Tell them that metal guy sent you. If you pick up some of their beer, take a picture with it. Send him a little IM saying, hey, I've been watching that guy's reviews. And hey, you know what? He made me want to buy some. I've already had a couple people tell me they're going to pick some up. So you know what? That makes me feel good. It makes me feel like, hey, you're taking my recommendations. You want to pick some up. And you know what? That's supporting this company. Pacific Northwest, baby. Let's go. Freaking awesome. So I hope everyone... And yeah, that was that finger grip that we are all known and loving. Oh, drop a dime. Oh, shit. Hold on. Don't want the cats to get that. <laughs> I 
That's all I need is one of them to swallow it. Start choking. Yeah, no thank you. They're my furry children and I love them. Just so you know, I do have a couple of them. And I love them dearly. I'll go in order of age. Not that you need to know about this, but hey, this is my channel and I do what I want. So, oldest is a short haired gray cat that we got off Craigslist. All we paid was the rehoming fee. And his name is Corona. I know fitting for the time being, right? <laughs> no. And well, we named him after the beer because we got him from a Latino family, which they were super sweet, super nice. They actually offered to feed us that night. And we were like, nah, it's okay. Because we got super lost trying to find the place. Um, and then I have the second eldest, the biggest, big boy, Mr. Fluffy Pants himself, Ledgerito, Ledger. He is a Nebelong Maine Coon mix, and we got him from some really cool family that's local to us. Um, and he weighs like 25 pounds. He's three and a half, almost four years old, and they grow till they're five. He can reach countertops by just putting up his paws. He knows how to open doors, and he talks way too damn much. He is a freaking yapper. Oh, my God. And he loves hot baths. That's another fun fact about him. If it's not warm enough, he gets pissed off. Um, and then I have... One that I had to save because he was just too cute and they said if we didn't, then, or if I didn't, when I went in there, he would be uh, put down and I couldn't have that. And he is a tabby Maine Coon mix and he's only a year and a half and the sucker is already almost freaking 18 pounds. <laughs> he's going to outgrow Ledger and his name is Oliver, like from Oliver's and Company. He's antisocial. I have a feeling that before we got to him, he had a guy in his life that beat him. He still doesn't really want to come to me. But hey, he comes around when I put treats on the floor. So hey, that's all that matters. Um, and when I'm laying down and I'm not moving around and not being loud, he'll come walk over to me on the bed. Anyways, back to beer. So, about the beer. This is a different take on a uh, pale ale I definitely really enjoy it I would definitely drink it again I definitely have a few drops and as we do in this freaking channel we finish every last drop of our beer because we don't waste shit in this freaking house okay all right cheers I'm gonna slam the rest you guys freaking have a great weekend keep on rocking